Alright. 2.3. So, this basically says the same thing as y equals x. Y is x. So there's really no math to do here. It's just negative 2 is negative 2, negative 1 is negative 1, 0 is 0, 1 is 1, 2 is 2. So we're going to put those on there. So negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. And then there's our line. Do your best job to draw a straight line. Okay. And we'll start our arrows in the end. That's our line. Okay. Is a line. And it's in the linear family. Linear equation. Linear. Okay, the next one we're doing is absolute value. So we can even write that right now. You know it's absolute value from the bars. So basically, we're doing the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2. The absolute value of negative 1, which is 1. Absolute value of 0, which is 0. Absolute value of 1, which is 1. Absolute value of 2, which is 2. So when we graph these, we do negative 2. But instead of going down negative 2, we're going to go up 2. And the shape of an absolute value is a V. Has a V shape. Now the next one we have is square. So we're going to carefully square these numbers. Carefully, I mean for the negatives. So negative 2 squared carefully is... Four. Negative one squared is one. Okay. And so we're gonna have zero, zero, one, four. That's right. One, one, one. And negative one, one. And then two, four, and negative two, four. And remember this one. We want to make sure we curve it. Okay. So, it is a quad, but first off, the shape is a U, or a parabola. But it is a quadratic, it's in the quadratic family. So you're all both right. It is a quadratic in the shape of a parabola. Now this one, We're going to do the square root of negative 2, which we can't do. The square root of negative 1, which we can't do. The square root of 0 is 0. The square root of 1 is 1. And the square root of 2 is a decimal. So we're not going to use actually that. That's silly to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to change the numbers to make numbers that help more. So we're going to do uh, change this to 4. We're also going to do a 9. So the square root of 4, so the perfect square is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. That's going to help us more. So, we're going to start at 0, 0, because we can't go into the negative realm. Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2, and square root of 9 is 3. So it gives us this kind of curvy shape like that. This is a square root. And the shape is really half a parabola. Right? Isn't that the same as 
you know, this, just turn sideways, but it's that same shape, right? Yeah. Whoops. Okay, cube. <laughs> so obviously this is the cubic family. It has a three there. And uh, we usually say it's in the form of a squiggle, or maybe a snake. Okay, so we're going to cube negative two. We're going to cube negative one, cube zero, cube one, cube two. Now, the way this is different from a parabola is negative times a negative times a negative is negative, as opposed to this one, which is positive. And this is going to be negative, and this one's going to be positive, so they're not going to match up like a parabola. We're not going to have 1, 8, and negative 1, 8. Negative 1, negative 8 is going to be down here. 1, 8 is going to be up here. 0, 0 is there. I'm sorry, negative 2, I mean, I'm not bad. Sorry. 2, 8, and negative 2, negative 8 are going to be up here. And there are 1. It's going to be like that, and that's why we get this squiggle or snake looking thing. But think about it. If it was a parabola, it would have just done this and matched up. Right? But it's not doing that. Okay? The left side is actually going down. The right side is going up, but the left side is going down. So it's kind of like you took this parabola, cut it, and then flip this down in that quadrant. Last but not least is, we're going to do 2 to the negative 2. Exponential, yes, very good. 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2. So we're going to work backwards to make it easy. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the 1 is 2. Anything to the 0 is 1. Now, Remember, 2 to the negative 1, we're going to start with 2 to the 1 and just flip it over. So instead of 2, it's going to be 1 half. And instead of 4, it's going to be 1 4. So I'm going to work backwards, do 2, 4. And 1, 2. And 0, 1. And what it's going to do is it's going to get real small and tiny, but it's never going to hit this line. Okay? It's never going to hit that, cross that line. It's like an electronic fence. You ever seen a dog with an electronic fence and runs up the fence? Like, yeah! And then it kind of runs down the fence and they don't get shot. That's sad. Why do people do that? No, that's painful. Okay, so this is exponential. It kind of looks like a ramp or a hill. No, not the arch. Actually, most people think that, but. Um, the arch is actually not a parabola. How? It's a different type of curve. Start, I started to see it. But kind of top look it up, I'll tell you. Okay, these already filled out, so just, just go with it. Okay, so this is just a summary page. It's like a quick reference, quick reference page. So function family of 1 is linear, y equals x. Function family number 2 is exponential. What? Alpha of x equals 2x. Two, 2 to the x. 3 is quadratic. x squared. 4 is square root. Square root of x. 5 is cubic. x cubed. And 6 is absolute value. Put the absolute value bar. So at least, let's see. Okay, so one is A, 
And it's A because that three right here, you might want to circle that three. Okay, two is E, absolute value, and you might want to like draw arrows to the absolute value lines. Three is B, quadratic, because it's two, you might want to circle that. Four is C, linear, because it's X to the one. You don't write the one, but you might want to write that now as a reminder. Five is D, exponential, because the variable is in the exponent spot. And six is square root F, because, well, it's the square root symbol. 